Now for today's video, we've got a very, very cool bit of kit and I guess it was kind of inevitable that these were gonna come out. In 2014, the Siren R3s came out and I've been using them for a good few years. Last year, the R4s came out and finally, they've done a slightly cheaper version and we've got the Nash Siren R2s. So let's see what's in the box. Now this is the two rod presentation set. A little bit later, I'll come onto the different options because there are a few in terms of how you can actually buy these. But in the box, you get obviously your user guide, you've got your receiver, and then you've got your two alarms. Now these alarms come with hard cases, so you don't have to buy them separately, which is a nice little feature. You've got your snaggers built in. They are, you can unscrew them if you want to, but I can't see why you'd ever want to. So yeah, as you, you probably notice they look very, very similar to the R3s. They don't come with batteries. You have to buy the battery separately and it does require a screwdriver. So thanks very much to Scott at Sumner's Pond who um, had a screwdriver on hand because I definitely didn't bring one with me. So I thought I was prepared, got batteries and everything, but I didn't bring a screwdriver. So make sure first outing, you do take a screwdriver with you so you can put your batteries in. The other thing you get just in this little bag is uh, a little stopper that will just go into the screw thread if you're not using it. But we'll come on to what that screw thread does in a little bit. But there you go, that is what you get in the uh, in the box. So you've got your two alarms, snag ears, hard cases, and a receiver. So everything you could possibly want to get you going. So uh, let's get them on some buzz bars, get the rods out and try and get a few bites. So like I said, it's about time that Nash brought out a cheaper version in the Siren range. We've just had the R4s and uh, they really are range topping alarms. The R3s still hold their own in that mid range price bracket. And then that's where the R2s come in. So they're not a budget alarm by any means, but they are the cheapest out of the Siren range. So they're in a very niche position. Obviously within the industry, there's a lot of alarms that are really cheap and really expensive but there's not many in between but that's where these r2s come in and they are they're about 65 quid in an alarm we'll come on to all the different presentation boxes and things like that a little bit later in the video but like i said there's not many good mid-range alarms to choose from so that's where they come in and to be honest they're very very close to the r3s that almost make you think is it worth paying that extra it is, there's still a few features in the R3s that are worth paying the extra for, but depending on your fishing and your style and how much you actually need from an alarm, these are pretty bomb proof. They've got most or a lot of the features of the R3s. And I think that's where the R3s came out about eight years ago. And now these are coming out. A lot of that technology has become cheaper and uh, become a lot more accessible. So it's then being put into this, this brand new package. So, like I say, in terms of features, you can change your volume, tone, sensitivity. There's all different settings in that. It's nice and easy to change them, but you can also change the LEDs as well, which in the R3s, you couldn't because that technology was a lot harder to come by eight years ago. It's amazing how much changes over time. So, like I say, you can, you can change the volume. There's four different tones to choose from, and you've just got one button on the right, which you just cycle through the tones, or well, sorry, the volumes. So they can go really loud or really quiet, which the quietest one is actually quieter than what the R3 could do originally, which is really nice on a data kit or something like that when you've got people all around you. I mean, there's a match going on. You can probably hear people in the background and uh, you can keep it a little bit more discreet. Even if you don't have a receiver, you're still just about gonna hear that. Like I say, you can cycle through. That I believe is about the base limit of the R3s and it goes really loud. So there's a few options to choose from. There's six different sensitivity options to choose from and basically the right hand button, all you gotta do is hold it down and then the alarm will sound to let you know what level it's on. So there's basically, it depends on how much line is passing through the roller. But it basically ranges from 10 mil, so 10 mil of line passing through all the way up to 85 mil of line passing through. So if you're fishing, and it's really windy 
you've got waves coming over your, your lines, then obviously if you're on the 10 mil, then you're gonna get loads and loads of beeps and it will sound like you're having constant takes. But that you can then stop down, say 85 mil of line passes through the roller before it makes a single beep. Or if you're fishing in really still conditions or say you're fishing tight lines, if you're zig fishing, then you can change it so it's only 10 mil of line. So like I say, there's increments between that. So you've got six different levels to choose from. Today there's wind coming across. So if I set myself to about the fourth one, then I know that if that goes, that's a bite. So it's nice to have that option. There's then five different tones to choose from, which if you hold the power button, you can then cycle through the different tones. And the nice thing about these as well is whenever you're making these tweaks, they automatically go to the lowest volume they possibly can. So you're not gonna be upsetting other anglers or annoying yourself by scrolling through the options, obviously, unless it's a volume one, cause that's kind of, you're gonna have to see what volume it's gonna be. But if you're changing the sensitivity or the tone, then it goes to the quietest volume. So it just keeps you that, that bit more discreet as well. So like I say, you've also got all the different color options as well. So if you hold the function button, you can then scroll through all the different colors. And then that corresponds directly to the receiver. So along the top of the receiver, you've got four different LEDs and that will automatically update. So there you go, a green one's come on and a red one for that one. If I then change the color to purple, you'll see a purple one then comes on. So it's really quick to update everything. And obviously coming onto the receiver, you don't have to have to get this. You can either buy individual alarms or you can buy a presentation set or you can buy it all separately. So if you wanted to buy the alarms and then feel that you want to get a receiver as well later down the line, then you can do, you can just add it into the system. But the receiver is really handy. Now on the back of it, you've got the volume dial, which you can just simply rotate and then set it to the volume that you want. So you've got quite a range. It does go very loud. Um, but this actually doubles up as the power button as well. So you can simply unclick it and then that clicks it on or click it back off. So really handy. Um, and to be honest, there's not a lot more you need from a receiver. So it does what it needs to do. It will go beep when it needs to. It will tell you what rod's going and with Nash receivers, the R3s and the R4s are known for their connectivity and, and how good they are in dense woodland and this R2 receiver is no different whatsoever. So if you are, if you're fishing with a mate, if you're next door having a cuppa and it's a really wooded lake, then you've got no worries. If you've got a bite, then you'll still be hearing it in the next swim. Now I know we all say it, it's the inside that counts and obviously we've been through that and the inside really does count in this case, but it is nice if it looks good on the outside too. That's a, that's a nice little bonus, isn't it? And these do look good. They, they look very, very similar to the R3s. I think the only real difference is the fact that it doesn't have a little LED this side. Aside from that, they're pretty much identical. So. Yeah, they look the part as well as uh, as well as performing that way. And to be honest, I've actually put one of my R3s back on the pod, and I'm looking now trying to work out what side I put it on. So they they definitely win in the looks department. And if you like the look of the R3s and can't quite afford them, then like I say, these R2s are very very close in a lot of aspects. And uh, even when it comes to the little extras as well most of the extras that you get with the R3s, you get with these R2s as well. So like I said earlier, you've got these removable snag ears. Again, I can't think of an instance where you would want to remove them, but you can do if you really want to. I mean, I've kept mine on the whole time I've had them, haven't removed them. Again, you get the hard case that comes with it. You've got this little attachment at the front. So if you're using Nash bobbins and you can screw straight into it. So there's loads of little perks that you get with these that 
would normally be associated with higher priced alarms but i guess that's where like i say these aren't a budget alarm they're just a bit cheaper than nash's other offerings so if you like this sort of content and you want to see more make sure you subscribe to us on youtube and hit that little bell icon that way you'll be notified of any future uploads and if you get bored in the meantime then follow us on all our various social media channels as well such as facebook instagram twitter i think and tiktok so i guess the last thing to really talk about is going to be the prices and the different options available now like i've said i've got two rod presentation set with me and as i've already outlined you get your two alarms and you get your receiver all in that kit now this retails at about 195 quid so like i say they're not budget but they're not as expensive as a lot of alarms out there if you fish with three rods normally then you can buy a three rod presentation set which is about 250 quid so these presentation sets work out a little bit cheaper than if you were to buy all of them individually but if you want to buy them individually if you want to build them slowly if you want just the alarms to start with and you want to add a receiver then you can do so you can buy each alarm head for 64.99 and you can buy a receiver for 69.99 so it's a really good way if you're on a bit more of a budget and you want to buy it over time then you don't have to go for the presentation sets you can buy your alarms first and then your receiver a little bit down the line overall i think they're well worth the price point that they're put out at like i say there's a lot of alarms that are very cheap and a lot of alarms that are very expensive so to find something decent in the middle i think nash have really tapped into a niche here so what are your thoughts on on these alarms do you like them would you be tempted to to get a set do you think there is a place for them let us know in the comments below what your thoughts are and uh, what alarms you're using at the moment and if you'd be tempted to change over but for now thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video